Just like in the article, what's the best way to find grubs and bugs? By flipping over logs. Oh, wow. Massive amounts. We got centipedes, millipedes, and of course, here's some adults. Best beetles. The grubs. Massive amounts of grubs. There are a few signs that you can learn to recognize, such as these large holes. And a lot of this frass, it's caterpillar poo all around here. It's actually insect poo. All that fun stuff. Blah, blah, blah. You won't be quizzed on it later. You can see how it's still rotting here. There's a grub right there. And it has a nice hollow dump to it. That means something's in it. It's not completely solid. It's all dead, basically beetle frass. See, here's a nice size grub right here. I'll be nice and tweeze this guy out. It's bait. It's glorious stuff. Another one right here. I pull this back. There's an adult best beetle down here, but more importantly, we got one of the last larval instars. That's right before they turn into the beetle. These boogers right here. You don't necessarily have to use a knife. I've got a nice tough built tops knife here that I'm able to go through and pry with, but you can use a nice solid piece of wood or hickory to go after your quarry too. I'm sure this log, if we continue through it, is going to be just full of animals to go through. You can see I've got four or five here just by going through it, one, two, three, four. And I probably, if I lift this up, I'll find a fifth one. There you go. Grubs. Smorgasbord! See the adult best beetles here? Larvae are freaking monsters. These holes are called galleries. And if you keep probing through them, you may find some interesting stuff. Look at that. If I was gonna eat these beetles. There's one, two, three, four, five in here. Here's a completely different species right here. We'll go into that later. Oh! Glorious. See those two little eyes right there? It's an eastern two-eye click beetle. Sure, we're gonna go about doing this. Yeah. Okay. Good gosh. That your knife is uh, strong enough to take this type of abuse. And all the tops is are. We have a container full of critters here. 
that came all from this small little 4x4 four four area and there's still some that are popping out of the wood here. Just by sight recognition, being able to see the signs of a whole lot of um, invertebrates boring through wood, we were able to get a pretty good meal, a whole lot of bait, and all sorts of other stuff that we can learn from.